Hey y'all, welcome to Clackbait. The Tiger 80 is arguably the best entry level board on the market today. KBD Fans has taken that winning formula and packaged it in a full ABS plastic case to make the Tiger 80 Lite even more affordable and accessible. Entering the budget realm comes in at a low price of $119 before shipping. Now that's a full $106 less than its bigger brother, the Tiger 80. Now the kit comes with a top and bottom ABS plastic case. Now the color that I have is translucent white. It comes with a polycarbonate plate, a 1.2 millimeter hot swap PCB with flex cuts, RGB underglow, which shows really nice on this translucent case. It's also QMK and VIA compatible and has a USB-C daughter board. You also get PCB foam, PE foam, silicone sock gaskets, a design tape mod, which is one of the signature features of this board, cherry stabs included, which will still require you to clip the legs to get the optimal sound out of these stabs. Carrying case with some padding, stabilizer shims, a USB-C cable, and rubber feet. Now, the colors that are gonna be available at the time of this review are gonna be white, black, pink, with translucent color options in white, ink, blue, green, and purple. You RGB fans should definitely go for the translucent case colors. Now, you can check out all the colors and the options using the affiliate link in the description, which also helps support the channel. So thank you in advance for using it. Yeah. The case has a seven degree typing angle and a front height of 19 millimeters. Now fully built, the board comes in at 1.44 pounds, which is nice and light and easy to carry around. Now the difference between the Tiger 80 and the Lite really come down to the case. You're getting a full ABS plastic case versus aluminum, so obviously it's going to be much lighter. KBD fans did a great job with the plastic case with no creaks or sounds and they installed metal inserts for all the screw holes so you don't have to worry about thread stripping or cracking the standoffs. It's a really solid touch and great to see at this low price point because we have seen boards that don't do this. Also, you will not have the Tiger logo on the bottom. Instead, you'll have a minimal KBD Fans logo. Another big benefit to having an ABS plastic case is the RGB underglow shows really nice on this board. Even with the tape mod applied, it still shows great, and I think most RGB fans will love the way this shines. Now, the build process is super easy. All you have to do is tune and install the included stabilizers, lay down the plate foam and PE foam, which are both optional, for those new to the hobby, this thin sheet of PE foam is what gives you that marbly sound that became popular last year. After that, just place the PC plate on top of the foams, install the switches of your choice, install the daughter board to the bottom case, apply the tape mod, which is included in the kit, throw on the silicone gaskets, which is super easy with this new KBD fans new gasket design. Plug your JST cable into the PCB, Lay down the PCB plate assembly in the grooves at the bottom of the case. Take the top case and close off that docky sandwich with just 10 screws. Add caps of your choice. I went with PBT fans, Spark, which looks super clean. And you're done. Head on over to Monkey Type and handle your business. Typing feel is just as good as the Tiger 80. Has a nice bit of bounce to it with some major flex, which translates to a very soft and comfortable typing experience. The switches I went with are the Oil Kings. I do recommend going with the non-long pole for this board. I think deeper switches work best with an ABS plastic board, but honestly, the Tiger 80 Lite handles all switches really well. Now here's a typing test without the PE foam since you guys already know what PE foam sounds like. Take a listen. Yeah, this is a vast improvement over the KBD 67 Lite from a typing experience and sound perspective. You can make it clack or thock, make it sound how you want by using different style switches or mods, all for 119 bucks, which is incredible. So is the Tiger 80 Lite the best budget board for 2022 so far? Yes, yes it is. You should buy it, full stop. I'm out, peace.